Hello, my friends, and welcome everyone to Seven Days to Die. Now, if you remember in the last episode, I mentioned we weren't coming back till Alpha 15 came out. Well, Alpha 15 isn't 100% actually out, but it pretty much is out because way, whoa, why did we get such good loot? I'm taking all of that. Um, right off the bat, amazing start. Is that like, that has to be our beginning spawn, right? Something like that. There's a new journal entry. Okay, okay, we're gonna be messing around a little bit. Today, we're actually playing on Naviskeen. Oh my god, Naviskeen. What? What? No way. And it's like, yes. Yes way, we're legitimately playing on Naviskeen today. Why? Because they've added a bunch of stuff in Alpha 15, which is accessible through the experimental. So if you go into Steam, you can opt into this beta to play Alpha 15 early. It's experimental, it might be a bit more buggy than the final release, but it's got all the new features. And there's some goddamn new, it's some goddamn great ones. So we are playing on Navazine because some of the new features are exclusive to Navazine at the time being, including stuff like a football stadium. They legitimately have a football stadium in the game and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I don't, I haven't, I haven't played Navazine in forever, so I literally know nothing about this. I don't know where to go. I do know that this is Navazine though, so hello Navazine. So I'm gonna be, it's pretty much like random gen to me, because I, I haven't played this in forever. So we're gonna be taking this opportunity to try to get as much great loot as possible and uh, hopefully begin working well and seeing where we can go. So hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a good one because like we finally get to play seven days to die in this brand new update, which adds a bunch of cool stuff. I, like I mentioned, the football stadium and a couple other prefabs, which are exclusive to Navisgain for the time being, where like they can't be randomly generated. But something that isn't both is, uh, check this out, traders. They now have NPCs that you can actually trade with. That is insane. Also, we only have two bullets for this thing. Also, something is killing itself outside, which is kind of depressing. But uh, yeah, also speaking of, real quick question. My gamma feels like it's kind of high. What's up with that? Can I like, um, I'm just gonna leave it there. Maybe it's just the biome we're in. I hopefully that doesn't do anything too badly. There you go, that probably messes with DX story a little bit, but what was that noise? Yeah, so not too many zombies so far. We are gonna set out to go do the beginning quest, but first things first, I did want to uh, come over here and explore. Now, how do I activate my flashlight? Cause uh, uh, there is, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I have a flashlight right here. Can I, can I augment that? No? Cause like when I click on it, it says flashlight. Can I put that flashlight there? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We, we have, maybe we don't have the schematic so we can't augment it. So, so far we can't do anything, but we do have a flashlight here for flashlight purposes. We can turn that thing on and uh, just use this to explore this to the best of our ability and make sure that we get everything. That's a very nice, well, <laughs> it used to be a very nice chair. Not so much anymore. All right. I think we got everything that we really want out of here. Let's hop on out of here. I want to get into a different biome. Before, is that a deer over there? I think that was a deer. Before we do that though, we do have to begin doing the basics. And the basics, as always, involve, uh, well, we gotta craft a stone axe and do some of the basics here. Quest in the upper right hand corner. So we're gonna be doing exactly that. We just gotta get some stones. We need like five. We just need, we just need five bloody stones here, you know. I'm just doing an accent. I don't know why. I just like, I just like randomly breaking out an accent, you know? I don't even know what accent that was. We could try to hunt that deer with our hunting rifle, but right now food isn't our number one priority. And uh, really, I just want to get the hell out of here. Uh, daytimes are 50 minutes in this series. I decided to make them a bit longer just to see how that goes. So just a heads up there. Daytimes will be a tad bit longer than what we are used to. And then I think I actually have what we need to get our stone axe. <laughs> yes, we do. We're gonna have a stone axe. Beautifully crafted stone axe by the expert hands of myself. Look at that expertise. A quality of one. That's a master craftsman if I've ever seen one. This is like in Skyrim after you craft up a thousand iron daggers before they nerf that. This is, I, I just made Daedric armor pretty much with an axe. I'm also gonna make sure to just, I'm just gonna harvest the hell out of this tree here and get ourselves a bunch of wood just so later on we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, hopefully you guys are excited to see Seven Days to Die come back. If you are, let me know by hitting that like button. I wanna see how excited we are, you know, because I, I, I took a little break, you know, a couple weeks break, 
but we're back because uh, seven days is back and it's better than ever. So let me know how excited you are by hitting that like button and also in the comment section, let me know how excited you are for the series return in general, but also what you are most excited for out of Alpha 15. Also try to leave the release notes so you can actually see everything that they added in Alpha 15 and you can kind of read up through that. But some of the major things are stuff like traders. Now, what's the next thing we want to build? Plant fibers. So we just want to get a bunch of plant fibers. So as we continue to run around, I'll just continue to break some break some grass. I, I'm i really inefficient, inefficient at breaking grass, apparently. That pig is apparently a squirrel. It's trying to nest itself up there. And uh, I'm not going to be taking the side paths. Although I kind of want to take the side paths because they actually lead to stuff now. This isn't like the console version. And oh, it leads to a better biome. We're going this way. We're going this way. I like this way. This is a good way. Anyways, uh, today's video, episode one, might not be the longest episode in the world. Uh, the reason for that is I have a midterm in about... Let me check my phone. Um, three hours. Actually, no, four hours. After the video's done, I'll have like three and a half. But yeah, I got a midterm very, very soon for Calc 3. So wish me luck in that. I, I don't know how that's going to go, but uh, hopefully it goes well. You know, bring out your kappas for me. Give me your power comments. But yeah, wish me luck in that. Hopefully I ace that because I've been stressing mad about that and doing plenty of studying. College life, man. It's a fun life, but... I think the fact is that uh, I make YouTube videos, which is kind of more fun than that, but I still kind of do have to go to college, so, uh, you know, oh, oh no, I don't know if I want to take that with, mm. is there a fire? I might just, like, cook it up in here, uh, can we get some water too, maybe? I got some dirty water, we might cook that up in the fire upstairs, if there is a fire upstairs, I'm gonna continue hoarding our candles, we're like, we're like the crazy lady down the street who, like, loves buying Yankee Doodle candles or whatever the hell those things are, are they called Yankee Doodle? candles they're like no it might just be yankee candles i don't know yo yankee pay me for that shout out man i'm shouting you out helping grow your brand babe so help a brother out now my render distance is a bit lower than it should be i don't know why the settings i like ammunition the settings reset themselves for some reason so uh the render distance is a bit shorter than it should be so sorry about that that brass car radiator is clutch and is that the winter biome in the distance Oh god, I really hope that that's not the winter biome we're already wandering into because that might be bad. No, I see a street lamp. Okay, that's kind of a good sign. That might mean we're going to the street. Now, I don't want to like cheatsy doodle. I don't want to look at the Navisgeen map. I want to explore Navisgeen on my own, map it out through my own adventures. And I think that that is legitimately... Why is there a stop sign here? This is a side road. Why do we need a stop sign? I see some zombies down that way. All right, before we procrastinate more, all right, well, let's, let's get back on topic here. And that topic being the quest, getting that stuff out the way. All right, all right, how do we get it out the way? Pretty simple, we craft stuff. Gloves? Yes, we want some gloves. We want a hat. Do we want a hat? No, we wanted a hood, actually. Well, hopefully we can, uh, mm -hmm. well, I kind of messed up. We need a little bit more here. A little bit more plant fiber. Messed up, I messed up, I messed up. We want to make the uh, gloves now. There's the shoes. I think it's the shoes. There we go. And then we want to wear all of our stuff. We can only have the hood or that. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. One or the other. Meh. And uh, whenever those, as those start coming on, I'll start wearing them. And we're going to continue going this way now. I really hope, oh god, crazy nurse. Now, I don't have much good in the melee department to fight her with, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, which way are we heading on the map? We're heading north. So I don't know if that's the best way to head. I kind of want to... Ooh, there's actually a cave. There's a little cave over there, apparently. I saw that on the map. Giant hole. Giant holes are usually caves. You know, something like that. Oh, so we want to equip everything as well. I don't know if we just got a level. We got something, I think. And we need the hood. Okay, so we actually have to equip the hood. Let's equip the hood. There we go. Quest complete. I'm going to double back. I'm going to go this way. Hopefully this leads where I want to go. I would like to stay in this type of a biome. Problem is, we might double back into the burnt biome. I just want to come across, hopefully, a city, a little town that we could chill in. Uh, there's actually, ooh, a little camp over there. Hey, hey, hey. All right, well, that's a point of interest, and it's got me interested. All right, it's doing its job. So I'm going to head on over this way. I'm going to make sure... We're still relatively undetected here. Don't want too many zombies swarming us. And there's not too many zombies here. Uh, ooh, tree stump. Nice. What you got? What you got? We've been detected, boys. All right. Well, this is the part where we run like hell. Oh, my God. Ah! That's more than I expected. They're coming out the woodwork. They're coming out the cloth work. Because there isn't actually wood. Well, I mean, there is some wood. But 
God damn. Sandwiches. All right. Oh, we got some sort of a pill. Cooler. If there's food, there's nothing. Um, oof. Yeah, okay, so, no, not, not too much great stuff here, but that's all right. That's the irradiated zone. We're not even going to bother going that way. Let's hopefully get back on track, get back on the path, and find our way, find our way back. Uh, if we came across a trader early on, that would be super cool. That's one of the first things I want to do. I really want to go and look for a trader and uh, have my, no, it's not a trader. It's Shamway, though. Oh, huh. all right, well. We got a little pit stop here on the road. You know, this is actually a good way of starting off. I'll I'll stop by Shamway, man. I don't mind me some food. But the question is, is there anything murderous by Shamway? There are a couple things, such as that thing. Now, we don't have anything too great in terms of weapons. We can craft a wood club. We're actually being encouraged to craft one of those. So I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to run out of battle like the wuss I am. And we're going to craft up a wooden club. Hope they get that thing done kind of soon. Oh, there we go. And hit this guy with the jukes. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let's equip the club. And I'll smack him in the head with it. Oh, ow. He smacked me in the head with it. <laughs> he got his revenge. No. There we go. All right. We got him on the ground. When he's on the ground, it's game over, buddy. Look at that. Look at that mouth. You know what that mouth is? The mouth of a loser. That's right. You're a loser. All zombies are losers by default. I hear fire. Oh, it's right by there. Oh, hold on. We're going to, before we start heading back that way. Oh, flame zombie. No, I just want to get some coal. We might have to take that guy out too. Problem here is if we oh, we could. No, we need some feathers. I'm going to try to at least break one of these before we run like hell. I don't want to deal with them. That dude's just a nuisance to deal with. And it seems that the zombies are kind of respawning around here, so... We'll try to make our way. I think there's actually zombies in here. No, dude. Good news is we still got a decent amount of time. We might try to survive on top of Shamway for day one. I'm not sure. At the end of, uh, okay, let's let's craft the bow and arrow. I think that'll be a good good experience for us. We just gotta find some feathers. For feathers, we need nests. I think nests are easier to find in this biome. I don't. I don't. I mean, they're easier to see. I don't know if they're more common. Giant radioactive pool. Not actually radioactive, but I still want to let my children swim in there. Huh. Yeah, alright. Well, I should probably really find me some of these nests. I'm, I'm not doing good in the nest department. Like, I'm really struggling. Oh, oh, hello. Feathers. Feathers, babe. I can't shoot an egg, alright? I can't attach an egg to the tail of my arrow and expect results game. Come on. I need feathers. God damn. Why is it so difficult working with you? Uh, I'll pick up some cotton, too. We can turn that into cloth. Uh, actually replant it, too, if we want. I've probably missed a nest somewhere, and someone's already angrily typed out the most passive-aggressive... No, it's not passive-aggressive. It's aggressive as hell, comment. In the history of the world, I've probably already offended five different people since my eyes couldn't pick up the nest that I've probably missed. So I'm sorry, in advance, for when that happens. I'm genuinely sorry. But some people do not understand... That my eyes are weary. They're tired. They can't see like they used to see. Really? How did he hit me? I totally ran away from that. Why can I not hear? Does stunning involve stunning my ears? All right. I don't think that's how. I don't think that's how it works. Come on, you get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. That sounds so bad out of context. Put it on the ground. I got to beat the crap out of you. All right. There we go. Festering cadaver down. Feather acquired. One measly feather. I'm really not doing good in this nest department. God damn it. Actually, now that I think about it, there might be some nests up there. I feel... Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember if I ever saw... I've ever seen nests on top of the building, but I will check because there's probably other stuff up there. So, we're getting our athletics up. Uh, I guess that's a no. I guess there are no nests up here. I really thought I've seen nests up here before. I guess not. And then we can't loot that. We gotta, like, break that open with something. Mm, I mean, this is gonna be a great pit stop for us. We just gotta figure out how to stop in there. Like, we actually gotta get into the damn place. And I don't know how we're gonna do that. Someone's breaking through that for us. So he's doing the work for us. Thank you, dude. Then we can access the back room. We got some... Oh, we got something we can farm. We can start our own farm. Yay, look at that. You know what we can't start? A goddamn bird colony. I wish we could. That'd make life a lot easier. 
God, game. What's the sign over here, by the way? What does this sign say? Is that going to lead us to directions? This is the National Forest. <gasps> and it led us to a bird's nest! With 16 feathers! Oh, ha, ha, yes. Navisgy National Forest. Your major key, major key alert over there. All right, now remind me to jump off a bridge because I'm doing DJ Khaled memes. Just kidding, but still, I'm so sorry. You have to put up with my shenanigans. And then three arrows. No way, dude. Three arrows. Stay away from me, you people. I don't want it. I don't want it. There we go. We just got to be a bit better with our jukes. And I mean, we can take these people out. Yeah, look at that. Like, decaying mother. Okay, don't spread your legs for me like that, decaying mother. That's sending a bad message to today's youth. I don't want to see that on my on my channel, alright? I have the most kid-friendly channel on all of YouTube. Alright, you goddamn goddamn toy opening channels. You ain't got shit on me. I mean, you ain't got poop on me. I'm as kid-friendly as it gets. Alright, look at that. Look at that. Look at this fire dude. Look at this fire golem. That's as friendly as it gets. His skin is burning alive. That's what we gotta teach our children. Just, just kidding. Don't teach them that. I, I don't even know what the lesson would be, but still. It seems weird and slightly messed up. I'm gonna drop the hat. Oh no! No 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 no! Dude, that dude like freaking came out and did like a Usain Bolt sprint to get to me. Also, he's in perpetual swinging, which is kind of scary. Look at that dude. Look at all these dudes. Why are there so many? Oh my god! Did you just see that 360 no scope? This dude's loco. Oh my god, we got a mad lad on our hands. All right, but we gotta take care of the rest of these people. Keep her distance. Oh, I like that. I like that's funny. Uh, head explosions. Hilarious. All right, you die, so I can loot you. I just die already, lady. Stay down. I'm gonna have to ask you to stay down. All right, we gotta uh, administrate the uh, the medicine. All right, you you know about medicine. You know how important this stuff is. You should really uh, let me administer it. The medicine of uh, concussive head trauma to the head. Nature's best. Uh, so I still hear flames. I don't know if that's people or what. Yeah, we still got a couple more people coming for us. Um, I'm going to drop the bullet casings. Definitely pick up the blood bag. I will eat the blood bag because I lost some health. Oh, no, what was that? I, was, I didn't let me eat the blood bag. I, I hit eat and nothing happened. Okay, we got to finish everything around here. And I think we've literally killed every zombie in like a half a mile radius. So like we should be good to go for like some I he I broke my club on his face. Really, game? Really? Come on, let's just there you go. Nothing like some more uh rock like trauma to the head. Definitely on the better side of things. Nothing on the remains, dude. I don't I don't know. Like we got bullet casings there. I I tried eating the blood bag. I don't know if I did it right. I guess not. Zombie remains here, nothing. We got plenty of zombie remains to loot up and that Okay, 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 okay. This is all right. So we can actually scrap both of these things up. I'm not gonna take the glass pane. I know that that can come in handy later down the line, but currently we're still at the beginning of the line and I got some goddamn priorities. We got a little bit of water, which is actually pretty nice. You know what isn't nice? I wish, I know there's a way to mod it in. It's like a slight script you gotta do or something. I wish that they still had the hunger and thirst bars at the bottom left. I really like, I don't understand why they got rid of them. I guess like it makes it look cleaner and more sleek, but it's kind of annoying guys. Like, come on fun pimps. That's you're about fun. This isn't fun. That's a lot of brass we're getting. Ho ho ho. Um, I don't know if I want to wear that currently. Uh, that I will scrap. That I'm gonna wear. You can get scrapped. Wooden bow can get equipped. Uh, arrows can get crafted. One more arrow. No room in queue. Alright. Well. Luckily, I think this is it. If we can clear this place out, we'll also have a place to spend the night, which is coming closer and closer. This dude is a big dude. Like, I'm kind of horrified of this guy. Like, this dude probably hits hard. There you go. Stumble. 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 Look at that. Look at that stun lock I got him stuck in. Okay, no. No more stun lock. He's done being locked. You can't hold him down. Look at this beast. This dude looks like he'd be like a goddamn heavyweight MMA fighter. I'm horrified. Well... Actually, I don't know if he could make it to the MMA with that tummy, but he's a big man. All right, I got some achievements. Dude, this game recognizes my greatness, all right? I'm like the goddamn Alexander the Great of achievements. That's how great I am. I have great in my title. Honestly, you ain't got nothing on me and more water. Oh, my God. Like a god... Okay, I probably want to... 
How many zombies we got? Hello, Nerf. Oh! Oh my god, she just did some exorcist type shit. Oh! Alright, let's take you out of here. After she's done, I think we'll have everyone cleared out. Actually, there might be one more person in the back room, but we'll get to that. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna break my axe soon. Why is it so hard to hit your head? Like your head is very evasive. Like, I don't know if that's a compliment, but you have a very evasive head, lady. Alright, so you're done. I think we can whip out the flashlight. Let's start looting this place up. It's gonna have some good loot. Like, look at that. A goddamn shopping basket. Alright? We've already broken the loot table. We've got on top of the tier loot. Look at that. It's blue. Have you ever seen a blue shopping basket? Quite literally. Not only is the shopping basket blue, it has a rarity. That is blue. That's how amazing I am. Goddamn color coordination, boys. Ain't got shit on me. I like that. That's a cool vending machine, did they? They changed the vending machine. Oh, wait! So this is kind of like a store. Check that out. We can actually interact with this. So if we use currency, and I think the currency is actually the casino coins, we can actually interact with this. And I don't know if we can sell stuff or... Yeah, I don't know how that works. But literally, and then as a restock, there is a sell price. So I don't know how we sell it, though. But we do get coins. How do I sell? How does one sell? What, what would you like to buy from me? A hunting rifle barrel, please, I insist. See, I just don't know how you sell it. We might have to go to an actual trader, but we can actually sell stuff. And with that money, we can then buy stuff, which is really cool. So that's one of the, that's one of the new things. Literally, vending machines. They've added those in. And then we still have the old beverage coolers that we can easily loot from. But uh, society, society is still civilized, as you can tell, because we're not breaking down that vending machine to get what's inside. We're, uh, instead, we are, uh, we're, um, we're, we're, we're transacting with it. Yeah. God damn amazing. I'm going to scrap the headlight for now. Broken glass. I don't want broken glass. Okay, so yeah. That's actually the currency we use. It's the casino tokens. Pretty nice currency if you ask me. Now let's continue looting up these beverage coolers. Like, oh, all that water. Yes. We just got to turn that into goldenrod now. And now some food. That's what we need. Scrap plastics. I don't know if I want that. I don't know. Sham sandwiches. You can go bye-bye. I'd rather have real food in my inventory. Okay, thanks. Bye. Um, pistol barrel. Let's scrap that. I don't think we're going to use a pistol barrel anytime soon. One more small stone. Let's turn that into another arrow. I, did I just favorite that? or I, I crafted it. Okay. That leaves us a little bit more shimmy room. And I think we're going to spend the night on the roof. I think the roof will be a tad bit safer than down here. So hopefully we can finish looting up. Look at all this money we're getting, dudes. Oh, yes. We're going to be rich at this rate. And a shopping basket full of goodies. Well, not really goodies. We're like... Noes, which is, eh. I'm gonna stop trying to be funny. Really, really not my thing. Anyways, now we got a couple rows here to loot up. Uh, we do have, uh, I don't actually see any more food crates. God damn, actually I do see some. So there's one up there. Problem is we have to break that. Breaking these can get annoying. I don't know, is someone still back there? I'm actually kind of like, I guess not. Yeah, so the thing with breaking these is we don't have, really have the resources to break into them. <laughs> and all the crates that are already open are, have nothing in them. But we don't currently have the resources to break into them, so we might want to craft up. I think that's what we'll do. We'll try to head out real quick, get ourselves... I think all that we need to craft up another stone axe is another stone. If yes, is that all that we need? Stone axe, stone axe, where are you, stone axe? Uh, yeah, we just need to get five stones, so we'll head out, we'll grab ourselves a couple stones, and we'll book it back into here, and we're gonna spend the night here, hopefully loot things up, but we really gotta get to, like, a safer place that we can call home, because while home may be where the heart is, or some other poetic bullshit like that, uh, the, the heart isn't gonna protect us from zombies, it's actually probably going to get eaten by the zombies, uh, after the brains and whatnot. So, what I'm going to do is find some stones. There's actually there's a giant rock we could just harvest back here. Who needs to look for stones when there's just a giant one we can hit a lot? So, I'm going to hit this thing until we get... Let's go with like 10 stones. We'll just break one chunk, because then we do get a huge bonus after breaking it. Now, I think our stone axe is actually going to break before that happens. So, I'll actually start crafting the next one after that. And then we'll use that next one. Quality should be a little bit better. We'll head on in and we'll call it an episode there. So hopefully you guys are uh, are liking this episode, liking the series so far. All right, nothing super cr crazy new yet. We did see the vending machine. That's one of the cool new features. 
I'm really hopeful that we... There you go. Now we got the better one. I'm really hopeful that we do ultimately get to... Uh, what is it? Get to see a trader, and hopefully soon. So let me know in the comment section, like I said, if you are excited for this, and by hand that like button. All right, the series is back. One of my, one of the all-time favorite series of the channel. All right, I can't lie here. You guys love this. I love it too. It's a win-win. And uh, we got some stuff to do. We got some new stuff to do. We got the new alpha. We got some hype. We got everything. We need everything. We, we got everything we need for a successful series. All right, so at this point, it's all about making the videos, which is on me. And hopefully you guys watch it, which is on you. And then for extra credit, you can hit that like button and let me know how hype you are. You know, so if you want to pass the class of Star Snipe, prestigious class, put that shit on your resume, you're getting hired. No questions asked. No interview even. You're getting hired right away. All you got to do, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Not even lying. Try it yourself. Go ahead. Say, hey, I took Star's class where I learned how to like and comment on videos correctly. You will get hired. All right. Guaranteed. Go to your local Walmart. You'll own that Walmart within days. I'm an entrepreneur. And this is the 7 Days to Die series. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have no clue how to go into third person and zoom into my face. So instead, I will zoom in on this face. And goodbye. Wait. This is uh, empty. There we go. Goodbye, my friends.